I'm gonna do what? You're gonna put those in. No. No. They go over there. Yes, what are they doing back here? Did the combine spit them out? No. The bobcat dropped them off. Oh. What do you got your sieve set to for clearance here? All of it. You got all the clearance? I got all the clearance. <laughs> <laughs> it's a straight through machine. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even right now. <laughs> it all just goes right into the auger and into the tank. Shouldn't you be harvesting right now? It rained <laughs> for like the last week. <laughs> Which is good. Because those are still there from like a month ago. Oh. And, then, and now they need to go back in. Because you were no help at helping with shaker bushings. You didn't ask me to help with shaker bushings. You just asked me if I'd come out tonight. And now I know why. Because <laughs> I need muscles to put the <laughs> in. Oh. Well. We, uh, we, uh, um, but um, bum, bum. Harvest is here. It is. Like you guys heard a couple of weeks ago, we got hit with harvest and John has crop that he needs to get off, which means this big thing needs to run. Well, it does run, but there's some pieces that need to go into it to help him thrash his crop. Like sieves. And cotton candies. Well, yeah, they're helpful. Those are, those are a little helpful. <laughs> right now, I think if we put a header on and run some crop through, I don't know what would spit out the back. I'm pretty sure. It, it, be, it would all come out the back. I'm pretty sure it's just an oversized wind rower at that point. No, like all the trash would go into the grain tank. The... <laughs> Alrighty, well it ain't gonna get done us standing here talking about it. We might as well. Uh... Well, first remember we saw uh, well a couple cracks in that sieve. I wouldn't worry about them. Well, no, I fixed the problem why it's cracked, so I wouldn't worry about it either. But I want to weld them together before I put them back in. Let's put it back in. No. Let's the... work on the non-criticals. Like, I'm gonna go hang a fresh air cab in the cab. Oh, would you do that, please? I'm gonna take care of the critical stuff while you take care of the non-critical. I'm, I'm sure the operator would appreciate that. <laughs> take the garbage out, fluff up the seat. And... Fluff up the seat. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, well, I suppose step one is to carry carry one of them over to the... It's just the one on top. The one on the bottom. Carry the one on top over to the welding shop. And... We'll carry the bottom sieve that's on the top over to the welding shop. Exactly. And then we'll put it in. On the bottom. On the bottom, and then we'll yep. put the top tip in. Okay. So we'll carry the top one on the bottom over to the welding shed, and then we'll put the bottom one in the bottom hole, and then we'll put the top one in the top spot. Yep. Ready, break. We better sit and recoup for ourselves for 20 minutes to drink beer. I might have the extension cord pulled out by then. So what do we want to take? Do we want so do we want to take my car trailer and mess with the third ramp, or do we take the big trailer with the mega ramps and then we just pull it on, or do we take the little trailer and little trailer, a car trailer? Because oh. Dad's using the other trailer tomorrow. Then we have to mess with the third ramp. Is all we'd have to mess with pretty much. But the uh, the old uh, maroon pickup is on the bottom side, a quarter of a tank, uh, working its way to the eighth of a tank mark. So we got just enough fuel to get us to drink. Well, more than enough, but... Mm -hmm. That's what... Murphy, stop eating the lettuce. Eat all the lettuce, Murphy. I don't want to mow it. Start eating. Watch out, Murphy. Don't start on fire.
close. While John's doing that, I can reload the first aid box. Where's Charlotte at? Oh, she's going up above the light. All of them. All my pets are running away. Best darn free welder you could ask for, Dylan. Yeah, yeah, it's a good welder. Well, I can see that crack from here. Remember that finesse. Sibs are not as fragile as you think they are. Don't let anybody tell you that. Unless they're plastic. Well, how did you get bent? Thanks, Pit. We're going to buy a new combine, Dylan. All right. Good. What's the interest rate like nowadays? about that. Money is no option at this point. We well, have the newest, baddest one they make. I want all the options, all the bells and whistles. With the mini fridge. <laughs> Gotta have the mini uh, first aid kit. Why the f I It's catching on that side. I put how many of these I put how many of these in? More than I care to mention. 
Maybe I should have left it all, Ricky. Normally, you just kind of just give them the business and they go in. Alrighty then. There's that one. Just a little long. Got in yet? Shut up. What work order are you on? What segment you punched into? None of your fucking business. Ooh! Is this John working on a combine? You get kind of testy, don't you? <laughs> this no. is John that's had a really long week of working on combines. And doesn't want to look at this one any more than... <laughs> uh huh. Something, something to that effect. So this is cutting into my tractor time, my old tractor time. It's a vicious cycle because this pays for the old tractors. I can really use my pocket, my flashlight. Wait, is it going to go? Bill, you realize this combine is 28 years old? In your point? It's she's, old. She's still a good unit. Well, yeah, because I've stuck a pile into it every year. I was saying, when sieves aren't, they're not that fragile, I won't be afraid to use a hammer on them. <laughs> I missed that crack. God damn it. Take it back out. No, we are not taking it back out. There's a bolt that goes right there. That crack is just superficial. <laughs> no. And like I said, I have fixed the reason why they, they cracked. It's all new, brand new bushings <laughs> in the cleaning system. All that's left for me to overhaul is the feeder house. Oh, shoot. A leap, up, beep, up, deedly doo. A leap, up, beedly doo. Beep bop, beep bop, beep lee doo. Okay, now I'm gonna put that one in, Dylan. <laughs> it looks so good where it's at. It looked better inside. Do it. Yeah, when there's two people. I can, there's no way you can do that by yourself. I can see why you asked what I was up to tonight. Yep. That would have sucked. What do we got going on in here? Stuff. Does it look like a green one, Dylan? No, it looks like a red one. We're not checking, changing knives, are we? 
No, there's nothing wrong with those. Yeah, I'm not gonna wrestle with this anymore tonight. Fuck it. I'm, I want to drink beer and do fun stuff. It's Friday night. <laughs> so that means we gotta get the G started so we oh. can pull the D up. Well, use the G to pull the D. The G and the D. What letters of the alphabet are we missing? The double O. That's not an L letter. That's a number. The G to the double O to the D to the T I M E. Double O time. Wait. To the good. No, you're 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 not. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it oh, went right there. over your head. There it is. <laughs> Click. <laughs> Having ourselves a good time. I mean, a good time. I've been working all week and I'm tired. I don't want to sleep. I want to have fun. It's time for a good time. Half the letters were there to charge the battery. engine over completely several times by hand before we did what we did for anybody that's gonna get mad I did break this engine loose by hand but we got uh, wow. we evacuated the mouse house evicted e fucking evicted and as you can see by the diesel fuel that's everywhere it wasn't dry by any means Probably good for it in the long run. <laughs> yeah. That side's got compression, I think. This side, I don't know. Yeah, see, there's why I need that man with that gas. Yep. Going. Yep. No, I've seen that on the other walk around. It's loose. Last time you guys it's, seen it, it wasn't loose. It is loose. 
the next time you're gonna see it, it's gonna have steel wheels. It's even got oil pressure. Respect. All right. You're still hooked up there, bud. This must be mine. Yes. Now we get the air hose and blow gun and clean off mouse house. Yeah. Was that needed? Yep. Do you feel better about yourself? No, not really. The hood wasn't on it last time too when I saw it. The hood, the muffler, the air stack. We lost the spark plug in trap. Definitely got a stuck valve on it. Stuck valve on the left side. Any money betting it's exhaust? Oh, for sure. Ain't nobody home there. Go stick your thumb over the other hole. Okay. Okay. Nine sixteenths, and we're gonna find out. Oh, I you said you're grabbing a nine sixteenths. I did, it was just attached to the electric. It's just powered. There's oil up here, there's a lot of oil up here. Oh, it's a good sign, and it looks good. Did have oil pressure. There's diesel fuel in it too, so. Yep. Imagine that. Exhaust valve. Yep. Lovely. That's a treat on these. I've done it once. But at the same time, it's almost no surprise. No, I. I kind of figured that. Well, then it's been soaking with oil, with diesel fuel now. Huh. Or is that water? It's a mystery fluid. 
Holy fiddlesticks. Well, I'm gonna go get myself a pry bar. There's no real good way to get you folks in there. She is tight. I don't want to have to take the head off. Yeah. Oof, ta. That's a stuck valve. Yeah, she's stuck. Which really sucks on these if you gotta take the head off. It'd be nice if it quit dripping. That would be handy. Hmm. Well, that's really unfortunate. Because especially even on these, then you can't even get the rocker shaft out and pull the rock, drop the rocker shaft out without taking the radiator off. If you're taking the radiator off, you can almost as well take the head off. Uh... One of these days, they should remind me to bring my borescope home. What you doing? Making room. Why? That looks like a good tire you got. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I think we can get a just have him put a patch on that one. I can just relocate it to the nearest pickup. I probably shouldn't do that, but that's where I'm at with my motivation for the day. Keep in mind Dylan, we can't buy a lot of junk. We have no room for junk. You're hooking up to the big trailer. Unless you change your mind already. I should finish unloading my junk from the last auction sale. In case anyone's warning in the last episode, I bet you that's that hydraulic cylinder that he was talking about. cans I've stopped and picked up on the side of the road. I have not put any of them back there myself. What a good Samaritan. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. To... So we're going to a trailer. To a trailer. To a trailer. The trailer. The only trailer. The one of many. Tomorrow we are off to an auction sale, so we're thinking ahead and hooking the trailer up tonight so we don't have to do it in the morning. You guys are going to be along for the adventure tomorrow at the auction. I don't know what we're going to find, but uh, John's currently hooking up to the biggest trailer on the property, so he must be in the buying mood. You decided on the big trailer, huh? Sounds like I need to reset big trailer. It sounds like the two-speed gearbox in the crank is kind of handy. Oh, it is. By 
far. I paid a lot of money for this. We might as well take it somewhere. If only I knew what adventure it was about to go on. <laughs> this has been hooked to this truck before. Though. We brought the 5010 home. And the 5010, the 5020 was hooked to this pickup when it uh, ran, out, ran out to McCluskey. Mm. Great trailer. You can fit a lot of stuff on it. But don't load it really full with this pickup because this pickup does not like this heavy trailer. I found that out. We're not taking the Sunday pickup. <laughs> and there's that. There's chains in there. Chains, binders. Oh, we're gonna have lights. Sure looks like we are. Murphy, the back's flashing. I can see that from here. We got lights. We got four-way lights. Well, that's how you check all your blinkers at the same time. Oh. You got a dented up blades plate. Don't worry about that. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, yeah, not worry about that one bit. Like a big trailer. Doesn't it? Unfortunately, you were with me when I bought this. You talked me into it. I didn't know such thing. You were there. I was there when you bought it, but I didn't think you were bringing it home that day. I didn't think I was either. Good trailer is hard to come by. Mm hmm. And you gotta. Now we gotta get it out of here. Ah, just straight ahead up the ditch and onto the road you go. I was thinking kind of like uh, angle it back in between the tractors and then swing it around. That's one option. I guess we'll go approach that in the morning. No, that's going to be approached tonight. Oh, we're approaching that tonight. Oh, okay. After we uh, probably say farewell so long. See you next time, folks. Oh, we could do that. We could do the ultra. Right, Murphy? Right. Uh, well, here we are again. Yeah, again. Kind of a cobbled together episode. Combination of getting the combine uh, sieves back in. Combination of playing with the D. Pretty much just your basic uh, farm yard shenanigans going on tonight. Pretty much. How many Ds do you think we can get on this trailer? I think we're going to find out at some point in time, not two and a half. Two and a half. We're splitting one and hauling it, and then put it back together when we get there. If we had a loading dock, we'd get three on. <laughs> but then when we were going, we'd need a loading dock to unload. Yep, so we have loading docks on either end. But anyway, we digress. That's the content for future, future use. Stay but, tuned, you will see that. But yeah, no, it was, I don't know, the spur of the moment. I needed muscles. So we put the cameraman to work tonight, yeah. as you've seen. And that job, honestly, you need two people. There's no other way. You, you would need two people just to help get them in there. Once you got them in there and in their channels, yeah, then one person, you fiddle them around and get them in. But did some welding tonight, got that one all sturdied back up again. and couple bolt, two bolts, a couple spreaders, the combine be ready to go. We'll be out in the field in no time. But... We are going to an auction sale, which is why you guys saw us hooking the trailer up here. Yep. And you guys should be along for that ride there yep. when we do it. Might even, well, we'll see how sporty you feel if you'll do a walk around or not on the auction sale. Oh, yeah. I have full intentions on bringing the camera with and doing that. I didn't make an episode out of it, so. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, well, yeah. So you guys might be with the auction. You might. Might not be. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see what kind of mood we're in in the morning. <laughs> but if you guys do go, um, it's a 
Okay. Pretty pretty nice auction. There there is some a lot of nice nice stuff there. Murphy, quit running down the trailer. You're shaking the camera. You that's right. You tell him. <laughs> um, there's some Rumleys on the auction. Some unstyled. About three, of them. three Rumleys, a whole handful of John Deere's, two cylinders, signage. Oh, they're household stuff. It's it's gonna be a day that we might have to cut early, about five o'clock. Maybe we'll see what lots lots uh, end where and where they line well, up. Well, the the tractors just I think they're pre preset at noon. One o'clock. So uh, the tractors will go new. Well, it depends upon what kind of small junk, but I still got a five, four thirty-five o'clock cutoff set set point. So. And this is fine because I got about the same time when I got to go check uh, pastures feed and yeah, parents are going to be out of town, so I got to go take care of their critters. As we are, we're starting to uh, digress again. As per usual, <laughs> welcome to the channel. <laughs> but anyway, well, thank you, folks, for uh, taking along for the ride tonight. It was kind of a cobbled together shenanigans, but. Uh, yeah, we uh, worked it a little works. on the combine, worked a little on the D. The D, uh, the D from the last video is loose. Did break it loose. It had a mouse nest in the one cylinder. We not got... anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> it was full of diesel fuel. I filled it full of diesel fuel when I broke it loose by hand with a pry bar. On the, and it wasn't a very big pry bar. I just kept working it back and forth, and it, I got it to go all the way through. Uh, but we have one very stuck exhaust valve. So very stuck exhaust valve. But regardless, that tractor is getting put back into one piece, presentable, running, probably not running, to go mm. to the local thrashing show in two weeks from today's date. So you're going to be taking three running Ds and two non-running yep, projects. I'm taking five total, three running, two complete. Because it's the D feature, and we don't know how many... These are common in central North Dakota, but we don't know how many people are going to bring them. So I thought I'd bring a lineup of five different tractors. Bring what you got. Yep. And for me, I run steam engine there, so I don't have time to even play with my own tractors. So if nothing else, they'll, uh, they'll be all a nice lineup. But anyway, yeah, but boy, anyway, yeah. So, but um, I, there's getting... a good chance you guys are going to be along with to see that uh, traction show, that get together. I'll more than likely be out there with you guys with the camera there. I don't know how much you're going to see of John. He's going to be running around doing all kinds of stuff. And hell, he might even throw me to run around and do some stuff too. But I will be uh, showing you guys maybe around that show a little bit. I'm not sure how much you'll see, but I do intend on trying to be out there and showing you guys some of it. Yep. And you know, your 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 pup is he's good company, but sometimes he's a nuisance. Well, you know, he's young. <laughs> Just he's kidding. He's, he's a great dog. He's learning. I'd be lost without that little guy, actually. But, but anyway, so digressing. We, we, we digress. <laughs> we uh we have a mini fridge in the shop there that's needs, needing some attention. Oh, yeah, the first aid kit. Yeah, it, it needs some attention. So, yep. well, thank you folks for uh, sticking along with us today. It's for whatever we did today, and uh, well, I hope you uh, like and subscribe to our channel and keep. Keep seeing what we're up to anyway. Thank you guys much. We'll catch you on the next one.